What do you mean, fluffy tarantulas? Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and today we're talking about the top 10 fluffiest tarantulas in the hobby. And we're gonna jump straight into the list with number 10. Just a quick disclaimer before we get into the list, I am not advocating the petting or holding of any tarantula. Just because something's fluffy doesn't mean I want you to pet it. I mean, tarantulas have urticating hairs, they're spiders. Probably not a good idea to pet your tarantula. We're gonna jump straight into the list with number 10, and that is the Monocentrophus balfouri. This old world tarantula can be found on the very unique island of Socotra, off the coast of Yemen in the Arabian Sea. It is a very sought after species in the hobby. Not just because they look fluffy and have amazing colors, but because they are one of the few species of tarantula that can be kept communally in captivity. With their white and blue colors, there is no denying this tarantula's unique beauty and fluffy or soft appearance. They can be a little skittish and secretive, so it's not always easy to catch a glimpse. But when you do, you can be sure it was worth the wait. And while we're talking about the Imbalfori, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, microwilderness.com. They have a large shipment of Socotra Island blue baboons coming in this week that will be available for sale on their website very soon. You can order a single Balfouri or even pick up multiples and start your own communal. And if you use the code TTC10 at checkout, you will get 10% off your order. I have quite a few tarantulas in my collection that I got from Micro Wilderness. And the shipping and communication has always been great and the spiders have arrived safe, happy, and healthy. So head over to microwilderness.com, use the code TTC10 at checkout and pick yourself up a new tarantula, a true spider, or even some millipedes. And tell Wilderness Nate that the Tarantula Collective sent you. Now number nine is a species that hasn't gotten a lot of love on this channel so far, but that's gonna change today. And I'm talking about the Nandu Trepepi. This Brazilian terrestrial tarantula is known commonly as the Brazilian giant blonde tarantula. It is a very hardy, easy to care for species that grows to a rather large, bulky size and spends a lot of time out on display when they start getting big. Though as spiderlings, they typically dig a deep burrow and hide. They can be a little skittish and photosensitive, meaning they don't like bright lights, and they're prone to kicking some pretty irritating, urticating hairs. So even though they have a shaggy, bushy, almost fuzzy appearance, I definitely do not suggest trying to pet them. Now number eight is a new species to the hobby and should definitely be one of your favorites, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. And I'm talking about the Salmopius Victori. Also known as the Darth Maul Tarantula or the Mexican Half and Half, this tarantula's top half is black and the bottom half red with a very fuzzy look. This spider comes from the moist forests of Veracruz, though their exact location is a closely guarded secret by researchers to protect this tarantula from illegal poaching. This species also exhibits sexual dimorphism, so when a male matures, they will appear a solid black color after they molt, making it easy to tell the males from the females. This was the first arboreal tarantula described in Mexico and is the only species of Salmopius found so far north. They are very quick and skittish, and being in the Salmopius genus, they have some of the most potent venom of any New World tarantula. So even though they may look cute and cuddly, petting and handling is not advised. Now number seven is definitely a fluffy looking tarantula, and that is the Lociadora pyriabana. Commonly referred to in the hobby as the salmon pink bird eater, this New World terrestrial Brazilian bird spider is one of the largest species of tarantula in the world with a full grown leg span of up to 9 or 10 inches and possibly a little larger. They can live as long as 15 years and females can produce egg sacs with thousands of spiderlings. They are voracious eaters and very bold but sometimes a little skittish and spend a lot of time out on display. Despite their fuzzy appearance, this tarantula has some of the most irritating, urticating hairs of any tarantula, and even made my list of the top 10 tarantulas with the worst urticating hairs.
So don't let the fuzzy appearance fool you. You definitely do not want to pet this tarantula's abdomen. Now number six is no stranger to this program, and that is the Brachypelma baimi. A frequent species on many of my top 10 lists, this tarantula is one of my all-time favorites. This Mexican terrestrial tarantula is referred to commonly as the Mexican fire leg or the Mexican rust leg tarantula. With her bright red legs and deep black abdomen, this is simply a stunning spider. Covered in setae and urticating hairs, this tarantula looks as cuddly as it is brightly colored. Though it is also a species that made my top 10 list of tarantulas with the worst urticating hairs. And I am particularly sensitive to this species' hairs, so they can cause me itching, small blisters, and even a burning sensation for days after getting haired. Despite that, their beauty and personality outweighs any possible discomfort, and it's why I have multiple specimens in my collection. This is another fluffy tarantula to put on your list of look but do not touch. If you're enjoying these top 10 tarantula videos and find them informative and helpful or even just entertaining, be sure you hit that like button and show the algorithm gods that they should suggest this video to more people. And please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more of my content in the future. Now kicking off the top five is a species near and dear to my heart and that is the Afonapelma calcodes. If you're a fan of my channel, you know what a fan I am of this species. Usually referred to as the Arizona Blonde or Desert Blonde Tarantula, I talk about this tarantula a lot. This New World terrestrial species can be found in the American Southwest as well as Northern Mexico. And I even made an entire nature documentary style video showcasing this species that I will link above. They have a very relaxed demeanor and typically are very slow moving. They are not very defensive or skittish. And even though they possess urticating hairs, they're not prone to kick them, nor are they the type of urticating setae that most people are sensitive to. With their chill demeanor, beautiful blonde, tan, and brown coloration, and fuzzy appearance, this cute tarantula is one of the few species I will ever attempt to handle when introducing people to tarantulas. Now the next species on the list is the Gramistola pulchra. This all-black, new-world terrestrial tarantula comes from Brazil and is known as the Black Lab of the tarantula hobby. The Brazilian black is famous for being laid back and calm and is a species many keepers choose to handle if they handle tarantulas at all. Its soft appearance and deep black color make it one of the most eye-catching species of tarantula out there. And though they can have an intense feeding response, they typically are more relaxed and slow moving and not very quick to kick their gorgeous black hairs in self-defense. Now the number three fluffiest tarantula in my opinion is the Carabina Versicolor. Not just one of my favorite species, this tarantula is famous in the hobby for its bright colors at every stage of their life. They begin as spiderlings with an iridescent, tealish blue color with black stripes. And when full grown, have a very fluffy appearance with red, blue, green, and black coloration. The Antilles pink toe tarantula is one of the fluffiest looking tarantulas out there, but not a species I would ever attempt to pet. They are known to jump to get away from any perceived threats and can move fairly quickly. They are also known to shoot their poop when they feel threatened in the direction of any possible danger. They may be cute and fuzzy, but I would never try to cuddle them. Number two may come as no surprise if you spend any time at all in the tarantula hobby, and that is the Avicularia Avicularia. Very 
similar to the last tarantula. This New World arboreal species is known to jump and use their poop cannon to deter any threats. But their fluffy looking sete has made them one of the most popular species of tarantula in the hobby. Known commonly as the Guyana Pinto tarantula, this species can be found from Costa Rica to Brazil as well as the Southern Caribbean. With their bright pink toes, bluish black bodies with hints of teal, and long fuzzy looking white or silver sete, it is no wonder why this is a lot of people's first pet tarantula. Now number one with a bullet, or at least it's just no surprise, is a Chilicotl Apopolosis. Not long ago known as a Chilicotl albopelosum, and before that the Brachypelma albopelosum, this spider is commonly referred to as the curly hair tarantula. So it is no wonder it sits in the number one spot on this list. This is a new world species that can be found in Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica, and is easily identifiable by its unique, long, curly hairs and brown color. When photographing this species, their sete reflects the light and almost gives them a glowing appearance. The curly hair tarantula has been known to make a great display species as they tend to spend a lot of time out in the open. But as spiderlings and juveniles, and even for long periods of time as an adult, they will burrow deep into the substrate and can stay hidden for weeks or even months at a time. The T. apopelosis is one of the first and most popular species to ever have been kept as pets and established itself as a staple in the tarantula hobby, as well as a must-have for any keeper. There is some slight difference in their color based on their location and typically, you can find them for sale, labeled as Nicaraguan or Honduran curly hairs. Having been so popular in the hobby for such a long time, there has been some unintentional crossbreeding, so you may also find some specimens labeled as hobby form. But whatever form or locality you end up with, this is by far one of the fluffiest tarantulas in the hobby. If there is a fluffy tarantula species that didn't make my list, be sure to tell us about it down below in the comments and make everyone else aware of your favorite fluffy spider. If you enjoyed this video and want to help support the channel, the best thing you can do is watch another video. So if you want to see more of my top 10 tarantula videos, just click this playlist right here. And if you'd like to see my tarantula nature documentary videos, just click this playlist right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Don't pet your pet tarantula, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>